Pastor Steve here. Hebrews uh, chapter 1 again, 4 through 9, speaking of Jesus, being made so much better than the angels, as he has by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they. For unto which of the angels said at any time, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. And again, I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son. And again, when he brings in the first begotten into the world, he said, And let all the angels of God worship him. There was a great show on TV a number of years back. It was touched by an angel or something. They had a great crew of angels that would come in there. And they popped into people's lives and fixed stuff and helped them to carry out their plans. And then there was one who helped them to carry themselves out to the angel of death, you know. But, but real angels are powerful servants of the Lamb of God. There are servants as well, sent to minister to those who are heirs of salvation. We do need to hold them in some honor, but in comparison to the bright shininess of angels, the Son of God shines brighter. Fairest Lord Jesus, ruler of all nature, O thou of God and man the Son, thee will I cherish, thee will I honor, thou my soul's glory, joy, and crown. Fair are the meadows. Fair still the woodlands, robed in the blooming garb of spring. Jesus is fairer, Jesus is purer, who makes the woeful heart to sing. Fair is the sunshine, fairer still the moonlight, and all the twinkling starry host. Jesus shines brighter, Jesus shines purer than all the angels heaven can boast. Beautiful Savior, Lord of the nations, Son of God and Son of Man, glory and honor, praise, adoration, now and forevermore be thine. Many people like to think of angels. But isn't it far better to remember the Son who is better than any angels? As the voice said when John baptized Jesus, This is my beloved Son. Hear ye him. Are you listening? You ponder that, Pastor Steve.